welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Versus 4, episode 5 of an 8 creator challenge. And we are um, come to the last game of the season, game 38. And I'm not going to tell you how we've been doing. We're just going to play this game out, and then I'll tell you how we've been doing. So you can watch along and not have any idea how we've been up to. And whether we've dropped any points or not, or not dropped any points, there's only one way to find out. Let's get through the game. So the game is quite clear. We have Chesney, Sandro, Bonucci, um, Rugani, and uh, Danilo, Pjanic, Bentancur, and Rabio, uh, Ronaldo on the left, Dybala on the right, and Higuain up front. This is my um, my top side basically um we're missing de Licht from the back line but he's just got a mild injury he'll be out for a couple of weeks he might even be back for the um champions league final so um without any further ado let's get on with this um where is the button 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 there you are uh, challenge the team to pick up where they left off. That's a possibility. Or to prove a point. That's another possibility. Um, straight on from where you finished last match. I think that's pretty good. Got a few of them. That'll do. That will do. Proud of the record. I want to keep this going. It's a great thing to look at the defense and know it's in good hands. Much of a boost is Frank Rivery's absence. Of course it's a boost. Any team would not can actually say I know who they're talking about this time. And he would actually be somebody I'd miss if I were if he were on my team. Um Yeah. Fiorentina with an early chance. Headed over the goal. Alexandro with a free kick finds Pjanic. Back to Sandro. Pjanic again. Rabio scores. Pick that one out. Just bang. Hello, I'm going to score now. Fourth goal of the season. Just blasted into the net by Rabio. Very happy with that. This is one of the ways you stay on top by scoring goals like that. Fabio for Danilo. Back to Pjanic, who loses it at first but gets it back enough to give a shot. But Ogowski has no trouble bringing that down, bringing that down and uh, keeping it safe. Close him down, close him down, that's it. Great pass forward, Higuain is stopped by Dragovsky. Bentoncourt. Dybala, nope. Gets it back, nope. It's a free kick. Ah. <sighs> Pjanic to Rabio, all the way back this time. Rugani gets it up. Good, almost into the other box. Dybala, Bentancur, Alexandro. Oh, he goes for goal. Three men in front and he goes for goal. That's annoying. Ah. <sighs> Nothing much out of that one. I know I'm a little quiet tonight. I'm a little nervous. This is the last game of the season. I'm hoping we don't drop points.
as of the last episode, the last week, um, I was four points clear of the talking of the trucking football manager, and um, I'm hoping to stay away. I stay ahead of him. Got to guard against complacency now. Pjanic is stressed. That's unusual. I'm very happy with the performance today. Nothing specific is better than stressed. Good. Off the bar and cleared. Sorry, my mind wandered there for a minute. I've been awake. I just my mind wandered. I don't know what I was thinking. Not so much is happening though. Boring game, really. Danilo back to pick it up fairly easily. Chesney's there. Gives it to Bonucci. Bonucci to Pjanic. Back. Now out to Sandro. Sandro's away on the left. Ronaldo's been very quiet today. Here he is. Oh, what a save. That was a Ronaldo special curling for the far post, but not quite enough on it to beat the keeper who was ready for it. Stolen by Bentancur. Pass forward for Higuain. Stops. Pops. Plays it back. Bentancourt gets it to Ronaldo. Back in front for Rabio. Is he going to get another screamer in here? No, no, just playing it around for now. Danilo hits the post. <laughs> it was a little odd. I could very much use a second goal here, boys. I'd be very pleased with a second goal. That would make me a lot less nervous. <clears throat> That's not quite what I meant by a second goal. All right, I'm going to go attacking and see if we can pick up a goal. Shout, show some passion, let's go. Nothing. Well, we dropped points. The question is, how many have we dropped in this segment? Team talk, you were not good enough today. We should have won that match. Definitely should have won that match. And that finishes us on exactly 100 points. So there's your answer, Trucking Football Manager. I only dropped two. The two you saw me drop today. All the other games we managed to hold on. Um, here we are. The last game you saw was SSC Napoli with another draw. Did we draw all of our games on camera this year? No, I beat Atalanta. But we drew Napoli in the fall, and we lost. Oh, no, and that's right. And we beat Bologna in the first game. So we have two wins and three draws in our online, in our on-camera games. Um, so, yeah, then let's have a quick look through those games. Uh, we had Spal, two goals from Cuadrado. AS Roma, Dybala and Pjanic. Genoa, Cristiano Ronaldo with a hat-trick. AC Milan, Higuain got one. Torino, we got Bernadeschi and Rodrigo Bentancur. Brescia, 
Uh, Nicolo Fagioli got his first goal ever for Juventus. Uh, Udinese got Dybala, Rabio, and Ronaldo, and they had a man sent off, which helped. And then today you saw Fiorentina with the late goal to equalize, unfortunately. But there it is. Um, so, and we end up, as I said, with 100 points on the season, exactly. We win the league by 22 points. Uh, we won it six games ago. So it was kind of a foregone conclusion when, when you saw last episode and we had a 19-point lead or something like that. It was going to happen. So I'm happy with that. Ronaldo is the leading scorer. Pjanic has the top um, high rating. Player of the match, Ronaldo. Uh, clean sheets. It looks like we didn't quite get there on clean sheets. How many is he's down at fifth? Chesney is. But Buffon had nine as well. So between the two goalkeepers, we had 25 clean sheets. So not bad. Not bad. Player overview. Um, there's the goals. That's pretty good. At 35, I think he is. 35 years old, and he just won the Italian Serie A goal scoring title. That's crazy. Chesney with only 10 conceded all year. Um, Pierluigi Golini from uh, Atalanta came in second with 13 goals. So that's the, been the secret of our success this year, has been our incredible defense. Um, conceding 13 goals, nobody else got below 20. So, And we managed to bag 78 goals at the other end for a nice 65 goal difference. It's not the tops in the competition, but it's pretty solid. And 100 points. Um, and I think, sadly... The trucking football manager cannot catch me up because I only dropped those two points in his last segment and he needed four. So if that is the case and you got all four, um, you got all your points and, and finished up two points behind trucking football manager, you have my sincere um, appreciation for your abilities. You did so well with the amount of injuries that you had, I am absolutely blown away by how well you managed to do anyway. So, um, you know, if you've come within two or four or six points of me, I'm feeling pretty good about how you did, given the number of injuries you had. Injuries were not a problem for us this year. Uh, injury history, um, well, it looks like there were, but there really weren't. These are all slight. Look at them. They're all slight and then minor. We had a few moderates, you know, a couple of weeks here and there sort of thing. And only three majors. Um, Dybala was out for five weeks. Matuidi is out for four to five weeks. And Quadrado was out for two months. So not even the most important players in the team. And um, the, you know, the most important players never got injured for more than two or three weeks. People like De Ligt and uh, Pjanic, uh, Ronaldo, Rabio, all these guys never got injured for very much. So um, we only got 52 injuries this season. Expected total was 75. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm overall pretty happy. Um, Pretty happy with how this season has gone, really. Um, don't know if there's anything else to show you. Oh, this, uh, the dynamics are amazing by now. Um, excellent support. They're delighted to have me as manager and, and as such are willing to support me for the foreseeable future. Uh, hierarchy. I haven't checked this in a while. Whoa, hello. Only two players have no real opinion. James Rodriguez and Mirlem Pjanic. And the others are all for me. Wow, I didn't expect that. Social groups are still pretty good. Don't know who's... Demiral and Portanova have not been able to get themselves into one of the social groups, so a little distressing for them. I wouldn't think that would be very much fun. Um, there. 
Benucci injured, that's fine. I'll do the press conference offline. 4.5 million for achieving first place. That sucks. Okay, that totally sucks. You get more than that. You get like 10 times that in the Premier League. That, I mean, 4.5 is dreadful. Um, medals awarded for league success. Um, we were invincible, don't forget. So I'm pretty pleased with how that came out. Chiellini even got in a few games. And collective bonus paid. We paid out 21.5 million. And we only got 4.5 in. How's that making any sense? And we're way below zero. But we're well under our budget. And we've got a big fiscal, a big transfer budget that hasn't been spent too. So we're in good shape here. Um, that's going to do it, I guess, for this episode. There's not really much else to talk about. Um, just one more time, I will quickly go to the comp competitions page and show this one so that Custard Profit can get a good look. Sassuolo finished fifth. That's amazing. What a, res what a season for them. They must be absolutely over the moon. I wonder how our club vision is. A minus. Not bad. They are disappointed that I didn't sign players based in Italy. Disappointed I didn't sign players under the age of 20. And disappointed that I didn't sign high reputation players. But we did play entertaining football. Uh, I did work within the wage budget. Reached the semifinal of the Champions League. Did win the Serie A. Uh, did win, reach the final of Coppa Italia and then won it. Super Coppa Italia, we won it. Um, and that's all that there was. Um, we have to win the Champions League yet if we want to um, complete this, this season. Um, but it looks like we may have already... Um, Accomplish some of our goals from further down the list, like becoming the most reputable team in the world. It looks like that one might have been grabbed. I don't know. We'll find out. We will find out. Anyway, I hope that was enjoyable for you. Don't forget to check out all the other creators. They're linked in the description below. And see how we've done. Remember that the top two in each group, uh, the groups are Football Manager Maniac, myself, Trucking Football Manager and Bobby G, and the other group is Custom Profit, Chasing Lamely, Avoiding Relegation, and the United City FM. And uh, the top two in each group go through to play the second season, and the top one from that wins the overall competition. So um, in my group, it's probably going to be um, Football Manager Maniac and myself, and then uh, in the other group, it's a little tighter, uh, a little harder to say who it might be. Custard Profit was leading last time, I think, or was avoiding relegation. They were very close in any case. Um, and United City was very close behind as well. So it, it, the, whole, the whole four of them are, are quite close to each other at the top of their group. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I'm pretty happy with how this has gone. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, I hope that I get to carry on to next season. Only one way to find out. Check out all the other episodes. So, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, drop a like. If you didn't, drop a dislike and let me know why. Um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. We'd really love to have more subscribers. That's always fun. I like to build up the community, especially if you're somebody who likes to comment. Please do, by all means, um, subscribe and comment. We'd love that. And, uh, yeah, there's other information up here about where you can find me and where I write and stuff. I'll have an article coming out today at Dictate the Game. And uh, that's going to be it for now. So I hope you have a great day and take care.